Hello, welcome to another class with me. Today we talk about what is math. Right? Many students study mathematics because this is a topic they have to study in school. And when you ask them, what is mathematics? Well, many of them thought about it as numbers, as calculation, right? In fact, calculation is only a small part of mathematics. Today I'd like to convince you that mathematics is more than calculation. Well, if you ask us um, about mathematicians, you get many answers. Keith uh, Daphne, uh, a popular uh, writer in math of mathematics, he described mathematics as a study of patterns. And uh, what pattern are we talking about? Well, this pattern here can be um, numerical. Uh, it can be uh, graphical, right? Graphical, a numerical pattern could be, for example, you know, uh, you're looking at a quadratic equation and then a qu quadratic formula ax squared plus bx, bx plus c, and if you set that equal to zero, then you will find that O. If you solve that, you always get a formula, and that formula is given the name of numeric uh, quadratic. Uh, formula or graphical, for example, if you look at tiling, there are only certain ways to tile. Actually, I think there are about 17 patterns uh, in the world that you can actually tile and uh, that you can cover uh, uh, an area, graphical. Uh, this pattern could be statical, static, that means not moving, or it could be dynamic, as in, uh, for example, the flow of uh, air, all right, uh, this and uh, moving objects, for example. Uh, the patterns here could be in terms of uh, distance, uh, spa spa spatial, that means uh, in terms of relation, how, uh, how far things are related to each other, or it could be just in terms of relationship. Right? So, Calculation is only one little part of the pattern. And what a good method. What, uh, more than that, um, some people also say, well, math is the language of science. Language of science. Science. Here, mean physical science, like physics. Um, there are also people who say, well, mathematics is the language of logic, for example, to make deduction, all right? And uh, beyond this, you can also think of uh, mathematics as a way, basically it's just a way to study the world around us. Well, around us. So this actually is quite related to the study of pattern that is in the world. By the way, this pattern it doesn't only have to be, uh, in this case actually, uh, the study of pattern is actually more because pattern it doesn't always have to exist in the world, it can be imaginary pattern as well. Right? It doesn't have to exist in the world, it can be imaginary as well. Alright, um, what is good mathematics? Well, to me, good mathematics, or, and also to a lot of mathematicians, Good mathematics should be mathematics that connect interesting ideas together. It, so it connects interesting or normal ideas. And good mathematics is, is a normal, that means uh, um, it's interesting, it's new, unexpected. You know, people get excited, they say, oh, you know, how these things are related. Uh, good mathematics is additive. Alright? Um, almost every mathematics that is good is elegant. And mathematicians are very particular about mathematics being elegant. They hate, you know, things that look really ugly. Right? That's why you learn about simplifications in the syllabus because long equations that's ugly and if you can simplify it the 
and you can see some patterns or collect patterns together, collect similar patterns together to make it more elegant, this is preferable. So here, good mathematics should be elegant. And uh, mathematics is also about communication. Mathematics is also about communication. It's not only about calculation. So when you're doing mathematics, please you know, present the work neatly. By presenting the work neatly, I mean usually if you read your, if your math textbook, you see the working is done vertically down, not horizontally across. Horizontally across is ugly, difficult to read, right? Therefore, it's not a encouraged. Present the work vertically down and logically. So fill in as much blank as possible. Logical work. Okay? And because mathematics is also about logic and it will and it's also about communication, you can communicate your ideas better if you use conventional symbols and locations. Conventional means that are accepted widely by, by a group of people. So we use conventional, for example, two times three. Here is a conventional uh, symbol for multiplication, right? It's equal to six. Here is another conventional symbol for equal. That is, this side is equal to the other side. So this is a conventional symbol. So use conventional symbols. Do not make up symbols or notation by yourself unless this is something new and you really need to define them. But first, define them before you use them. Right? So mathematics is about ideas and it is also about communication. So in your work, please communicate well, that is present the word neatly, present the word logically with all the steps built in, explain it as much as possible, and if you use new terms, define the terms or define the key terms, and use conventional symbols and locations in the work. And uh, as much as possible, present your mathematics as elegantly as possible. Well, thank you very much.